What is up guys? It's your boys, Rick Kakis and Fallout Plays. We've been friends for a while, so we decided to finally do a collab video, or should I say videos, because in this video, we're going to be going over the hottest, boldest, spiciest PvE takes from the Destiny 2 community. And then in Fallout's video on his channel, linked in the description, we're going over the hottest PvP takes from the community. So definitely make sure to watch both videos, they're both equally saucy. And guys, if you enjoy this content, uh, let me know in the comment section. Support the video because we would love to do more. We had a great time. All right, now let's get started. Very excited for this. Uh, this is more off the cuff. You had someone like specifically pick the, the, right, the, yeah. the, the juiciest. I'm just going in. I'm, I'm going in raw. <laughs> We're raw, oh. no filter. Going no right to what Twitter sent We're us. We're going rogue. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so are you ready for this? <laughs> I can't wait, dude. All right, let's go. Scroll down a bit. First one is from Scaro. I know who that goes, guy. Yeah, you may know him. If you didn't solo Atheon in D2, you're objectively bad at the game. <laughs> what? <laughs> we're starting out. He's, he's trolling, right? We're st <laughs> he's trolling, uh, right? Yeah, I feel like he's 70% trolling. I feel like he's 70% <laughs> trolling, 30% toxic streamer. You know what I mean? <laughs> You never really know these days, right? Yeah. Well, Scaro, you know, you know, you know, streamers are toxic, so we have to obviously apply the to streamer toxicity levels. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so starting off pretty strong already. All right. Next take from. Oh, I, I obviously replied here. Average Destiny Two gamer: the corrupted strike is actually one of the best strikes, and Grandmaster Nightfalls in Destiny Two. That's what I replied. Ah, the corrupted really is so, one of the best strikes. It is the the feeling you get of overwhelming joy when you're in the corrupted and your teammate knows to pick up the ball and then throw it at you to charge it, and you're like, That's oh a my good god, feeling. you're like, I'm gonna like, you're you're, you, I come close to like adding people who do that on my friends list, and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> You, know you I mean? usually know how the strike is going to go right away when you get to that part. One person picks up the ball, and if you look at them or if they look at you and you're ready for the pass, you're like, ah. And they look right, away and they're like, why are you looking at me? Up. Yeah, exactly. No, here's, here's the interesting part of this take, right? Okay. It's like, what is a good strike? I feel like in Destiny, mm. because you only get rewards, Bungie only ever gives you rewards for just completions, the best strikes people the strikes people enjoy are just the fastest ones you know what i mean yeah i kind of like quick strikes i, I, I kind of like i know quick. but it's like are they good is like if shadows a good strike or is it just the fastest strike yeah it's just the fastest one That's i guess what I'm saying. maybe a, a good strike is like a beautiful strike with kind of interesting combat and a cool boss but, but we get to a but point it doesn't where matter. We've, we've beaten each one like 20 times. Where it's like, ah, exactly. It doesn't matter, follow. It doesn't matter how cool the boss is. It just needs to be quick. All right? All right, next one. Okay. All right, you asked for it. Veteran players shouldn't have to handicap themselves in order to be challenged by PV content. Is this uh, Saul Tegrepo's backup account here? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um, I yeah, I like that. I I you know what? It's really rough when you try to share opinions on PVE, and uh, depending on what your opinion is, people come at you with the like, "Well, you're just a full timer." It's like, okay, I get it. I get it. I don't play your job. Fallout is, is to play this game, actor. scumbag. I have three jobs, twelve <laughs> children. Okay, <laughs> I got to take care of all of them. I have an hour a week to play, and you're telling me. It's I, I should be able to do a factor. Okay. That's like, obviously full timer, and you know, some people only have a little bit of time to play. But when it's like, when I put out a video, it's like, dude, there's really no reason to not run ten Brazil in PVE, and people are like, just don't do it. Then it's like, well, it's kind of not the same thing, right? Isn't it? Like, it's yeah, sort of different. It's not really the perfect answer, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's definitely a take, I don't know. And, and I think this refers a lot to like raids. Like people will, uh, tr like trio raids. Like really good players will go in and like just, low man raids. Yeah, low man raids. And yeah, that's yeah, how they yeah. have fun. And again, it's kind of saying, should that level of challenge be already in like raids? Well, how high would Bungie have to raise the bar for the <sighs> truly like God tier PVE players to actually feel a big challenge? That's the thing. There's, that's like the thing. There's also some like, you know, 
self-satisfaction, if you know what I will, from some PvE players just to do hard content for the sake of doing hard content. And it's like, okay, you soloed Atheon. Okay, no one cares, (laughs) Scarrow. (laughs) Like, (laughs) congratulations, nobody cares. So there's that as well. It's like, you have to balance, like, it. Endgame should be hard, but also, like, ugh. We're getting so much deeper in the PvE takes. It's like, like we're, we're getting, getting into philosophy of game balance already. PvP takes was like, skill-based matchmaking is dumb and you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Vow is the best raid we've had. Hmm. It's a really good raid. I did enjoy Vow a lot, but the... Oh, man, the best raid? I, I, di- I disagree. I think the boss fight was very different and and entertaining in the sense of like you weren't just like everyone in one the spot boss fight DPSing. was really cool yeah you were going around first encounter trash okay <laughs> absolute garbage that first it takes encounter. forever bro Never i could do again, two dude. intros in the time it takes the foul <laughs> first encounter to get off like th- it is insane you know what I mean? it's too long dude i think my favorite raid ever that we've ever had is last wish oh Oh, the other one I came in World's First con- uh, Console for. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, Last Wish was so cool. I mean, we're never going to go back to a time where it, raids are so challenging that only the full-timers and the streamers can get the day one completions, which I think is a almost, good thing. Uh, like I, almost, I like it that they're a little bit more accessible now to the casual player yeah, while was, still being difficult and challenging. I was going to say almost not even day one, like week one. Like, like to, week to one. do the it week was, one before the first reset. Yeah. Was super How many teams did last wish many. day one two? Like it's just ridiculous. But um. Do you want to hear something? Wish, do do you want to hear some absolute content creator drama? Sure. Yeah. Hit me. One of my teammates when we beat, because we beat it week one, we were like number thirteen uh, in the world okay. or whatever. And mm-hmm. when we when it again, not many people beat the first week. A youtuber who i won't mention the name messaged one of my teammates and wanted to buy his raid jacket off of him to clout chase and pretend that like he it was his raid jacket really yeah. well wouldn't you be able to so easily look up and be like hey look i know up. right you know, i don't think i don't think this gentleman was operating at peak <laughs> cranial capacity at the time you know what i mean like a <laughs> We won't tell everyone who it was, if but this his video name gets, rhymes with this video, Michael Slash. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, like, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll, I'll leak the name. Oh my god, Okay, Okay, ne- actually related to that, nuclear hot take, Garden of Salvation is a good raid. What? Okay, okay I know. Okay. As, long, as long as it didn't say the best raid. That's, if he said that's, the best raid, I would have fa- freaked out. Fallout. That is so funny. That's how sus garden of salvation is like the take isn't even that it's the best raid the, best. the take is just that it's not trash <laughs> oh man that was a rough one dude i remember when i did garden of salvation that was before um i think was that like before cross save and all that stuff i have no idea but i remember that was the last no, raid it was that, that just I after did. okay that was the last raid i did on console on controller and I was like, never again. I'm never doing that again. I'm only raiding on PC MK from now on. Do you, you remember, remember the final encounter? Like the stuttering and the frames Fallout. and the lag. Fallout, I was there. You remember you messaged me. That you is right. Me? You I finished that raid with you and M Tash and a couple other people. I yeah. came into your right. console raid group and had to like you help did. you finish it because it was like so rough on oh, console. Oh, that was wild. Yeah. That Dude, was also our, oh my god. That was also one of the best parts about that. Do you remember that the moats would fall under the map? Yes, and you I were like, and you were just like, oh my god, my run's over. Um, so yeah, this you're wrong, <laughs> trash, <laughs> trash. <laughs> yeah, trash, I mean, trash. all raids are good, but this is definitely one of the, if not the worst raid. I would put it in low tier. And the rewards were trash too, except for the divinity top tier. Okay. A hot, uh, someone said hot take i enjoy destiny 2 it is fun got a few of those obviously <laughs> like that is That's these days right now, these dude. yeah d- these days pretty cut con- it's an extremely controversial to be honest um <laughs> you you will not get any pve is perfect <laughs> hmm. i will say that pve definitely feels better fleshed out more well-rounded than pvp right now but but that's kind of like saying that water is wet (laughs) yeah 
<laughs> it's not a hard bar to to cross, dude. Like, mm -mm. oh my goodness, Raid really Shadow Legends is more flushed out than Destiny Two <laughs> PvP. Okay, and this isn't even sponsored video. You know what I mean? Like, this is unironic. I'm dead, dead ass. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think we need a few tweaks, but for the most part, I do enjoy PvP. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next take. Uh, someone just said, "Bring black, Bing, br bring, Bing, Bing black, <laughs> bring back Unstoppable Glaive." I mean, that's fine. I'm down with that. That's yeah, not a honestly, super spicy take. I, yeah, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm down. Here, let's I'm go. Let's go. Okay, M Tash here. more spicy. M Tash here. Oh boy. I haven't cared about loot for years. The mm. 90th hand cannon or pulse rifle just isn't exciting unless the perks are super different, like Volt Shot. I could use the same weapons 9,000 times and never change them in the content I use them in use them in is always uh, new and growing more strikes etc yeah like i i yeah. get this take i get this like you you really could run like a secession forbearance just the vow weapons you know uh, the, it, mm. and some other good heavy and you're good for everything from strikes to grandmasters you know for the most part i kind of agree with that take for a little bit i do like when you go into pve to get yeah. good loot for PvP, though, that's really fun. Like, if I go into a, a GM and I'm chasing, like, a god roll palindrome or something like yeah. that. Something I want to use. I want to get it in PvE, bring it to PvP. Those are the times when I usually care the most about good loot. Or if I'm chasing, like, a, a really cracked god roll. But a lot of the times, yeah, sometimes when we get new loot, I would say that like 50%, maybe probably higher. You look at the rolls and you're like, eh, I'm not really going to chase that. I don't really care. Yeah, unless you're a loot hoarder like me. I got every single one yeah. of those guys in my vault. Uh, yeah. Okay. Actually, funny enough, speaking of Grandmasters, I could use this as an example, but realistically, Grandmasters, you kind of have to do change up your loadout depending on the burns and so on. But we yeah. found out we're losing match game. So like this problem ah. will get like even more severe. Like now you're telling me I really can just use the same set of weapons. I don't even have to worry about match game. I don't even have to worry about enemy shields and changing the elements, you know? Yeah, yeah. And champions. Like now my abilities will stun champions. I, I, so th I feel like this problem might actually get more severe going into light fall. fall. Things might. are getting more streamlined, but you won't have to change up your gear as much. A little bit of give and take, isn't it? But it will be easier than ever to change your gear because they have in-game loadout loadout saves and stuff. So you can like switch it up on the fly. Will that just make people switch things up more often? You don't have to like change each thing individually. <clears throat> nice. I'm not, cutting that. I'm not cutting that burp. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, resilience tied to damage reduction makes me as a player play fast and loose with my loadouts. I feel I'd be compelled to invest more in learning about mods and specific builds if I didn't have the ability to double you key through most content. It sounds like you already made a video and pissed off half the community about this. So, <laughs> what you know what I mean? <laughs> this is on you. Up the situation. <laughs> it's all. It's your fault. Yeah. No, I heard it was Dado's fault. That's no, That's it, I heard. dude. Salt Greppo obviously is to blame Salt for Greppo. for this. Oh, that poor um, guy. Ah. Uh, um, he's got a point. He does have a point. I, uh, yeah, the Brazil, there's been a lot of talk about the Brazil situation. I feel like even with the reduction going into Lightfall of like 30% DR, I feel like the first thing I'm going to do with any major end game PVE loadout, I'm just going to crank that Brazil up through the roof because I just want, yeah. yeah, I just want to not die. That's the priority. And then yeah. after that kind of figure other things out, you know, I think though it's, at the end, here's a here's actually a controversial take from a content creator. I think that the having a baseline damage resistance from resilience isn't that bad. Maybe it'll have to be lowered down to twenty percent in the future, but I don't think yeah. it's that bad because if you remember, a uh, protection of light, whatever it's called, uh, is a the 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 mm -hmm. charge of light mod. Bro, yeah. everyone ran it. Like people, are like Whoa, everyone ran it. Ten everyone resilience is required. It. Bro, protection of light or whatever it's called was also required that was the 10 resilience of its day literally yeah, protective everyone light, i think protective was, light yeah. literally everyone who had access to so what bungie did with resilience is basically say okay it's protective light but you don't have to wait six months for to one to sell it <laughs> you, like it's honestly it's like definitely a good point that, so, that way the, the newer players probably didn't feel left out in that regard which is important for exactly sure. now the problem comes when you have this as a baseline and then you're stacking 
protective i mean protective light might be going away but you're stacking more damage resistance things and you just become like non killable yeah. that's a whole different topic uh, maybe that's usually the play maybe there's like a cap where it's like you can only reach a maximum of 40 percent damage resistance just like how there's oh. a maximum hey bungie doing your That'd job for you <laughs> one one collector's edition for this idea just make it a <laughs> just kidding make, but just make it a cap just like how you can't oh, oh i can't stack well plus you know another damage well plus bubble doesn't stack yeah 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 so now i hear you resilience plus another resilience mod maybe wouldn't stack or would stack to a certain level and then stop that might be the play it's not a bad idea it's a great idea follow you're just mad you didn't <laughs> think about it <laughs> Uh, bring back the requirements for raid seals to include flawless runs and dungeon seals to include yes. solo flawless. Yes, Awoken Queen. Amber, let's go. Oh, oh. my god, what a great take. Whoa! Toxic So so if you can't go flawless, they don't <laughs> it makes you don't, me toxic. <laughs> Fallout. If they can't go flawless, they don't deserve a seal. Oh man, That's I what you're just saying. feel like it was so much more higher. Like, when I saw people with that seal, I'm like, whoa, shit, that's like a baller, dude. Because, like, I don't have the patience or the time to go through a raid and do a flawless run. That's kind of difficult to do. I've never attempted it. I really should because I feel like it would be fun content and I feel like my community wants me to. But uh, mad respect for people who do that. May uh, maybe they should do, like, a, a, a different seal or a different... Uh, you realize they would just doing be, that? that would be just I don't, I don't want to take that off the table. I think it's really cool when people do that. Reward people for doing that. We have the way. seal, and then we have the, like, Weenie Hut Jr. version of the seal. Like, that's obviously just as toxic. Listen, do you want to hear a true story about sure. the, the, similar to this? I went and got Flawless on, I think it was Deepstone. Oh, no, no, it was Garden of Salvation. I, I did Flawless Garden of Salvation, and I got the Enlightened title. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big title guy. Like, I... If you, Me either. Yeah. Oh, dude, if you went into my tiles, there's so many plus signs. Like, like Scarrow would have a heart attack. Like, Me, it, me it, too, bro. It Me is too. so... I do not care. So many. But I did it to because I was, like, doing it, just got the seal. And I, I got it when... It, I got Enlightened when it required Flawless. And then they updated it and changed it. And because they did, I never put it on. Because I was like, well, the, the mystique is gone. I'm going to go and put back on Shadow, which is actually legit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I feel you. I yeah. do. It's such a difficult tightrope to walk, right? Yeah. Because I do want players to feel like they can earn cool seals by doing challenging end game content. I just feel like the 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 pristine the pristine and the shine was so much brighter when yeah. you had to do it's like hard a to flawless say. run for a raid. Oh, there's so many tiles. You so get a cool. tile for like bacon cookies and like you know yeah. like certain tiles should be hard. That's the point. I I All wholeheartedly right. agree. All right. Now that we're done being toxic, let's go, let's go on. Jay overrated <laughs> here. This will be. <laughs> oh, that, here man. we go. Okay, he goes. It's repetitive for repetitive sake. I shouldn't have to do the seasonal story on every character if I don't want to. The progress should be account shared. Sincerely, a guy who still has to meet with Cadel, uh, Iron Banner next season fourteen. <laughs> Facts. Did you dude. Just call her Cadel? Kaitel, whatever, dude. What's she gonna do? All right. Kytle. <laughs> what is it? Kaitel. All right, Kaitel. Now, <laughs> listen. This we're, we're saying the same thing. We're saying the same, <laughs> thing, same right? thing. It's just audio. <laughs> audio glitch. <laughs> Facts, that, dude. Yeah. This is. Listen. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say something toxic. Okay. I'm gonna say something uh, a little bit toxic. All right. Hit me. <laughs> Here's my toxic take. We farm Destiny two. Bungie farms us for playtime just as much. I guarantee the part of the reason that they got $3.6 billion from Sony is that they said, look at our player investment. Look at our playtime. They have a Probably. stat, right? So it was in yeah. their best financial interest to increase our playtime. And it's, it sometimes yeah. really feels like that. Like, like he said, I already did the story quest. Why do I need to do it on a different character? I know. I know. It, it drives me crazy. And that prevents a lot of people from playing more than one character in D2. Exactly. Like when I tell people, I'm like, oh, you should pick up this new, you know, Titan exotic. It's really good. People are like, I don't play Titan. Yep. Yeah. like, well, why not? It's like, I don't want to have to do all that shit all over again. It's like, oh, man, it's lame. Like, I, I agree with you. Like, it's it's such a drag. It, I totally agree with that take. It is. It's like Bungie. You, you made the sale. You got the 3.6 billy. <laughs> 
Dial. We, you don't need the playtime stat anymore. Dial it down. You know what I mean? Like, I agree. Moving on from. Okay, now sure. we're both we're sure. both never visiting Bungie Studios again. So let's move never on. again. Never yeah. again. Let's move on <laughs> to the next one. Uh-huh. Even with opaque drop rate percentages, poor individual RNG, and lack of real targeted farming, Legend and Master, Master. Laster, yeah. but Laster, mainly Legend, yeah. Lost Sectors are still the most efficient way of getting exotic gear. Fight me. What an interesting thing that D2 Lost Sector Report is promoting <laughs> you knowing about D- Lost Sectors in Destiny yeah. 2. <laughs> That's a conflict of interest. Yeah, right there. exactly. <laughs> exactly. What is this here? Um, I, um, you know, I really wish that it weren't true, but it probably yeah, is. It probably is. I, it's the most guaranteed ga- way of getting a, an exotic for sure. I think that I would disagree only when it's double nightfall rewards. And if you have a team that can efficiently do grandmasters, I think Hell that. Yeah goes above it that's really now good. it's not targeted yeah. it's like if you're like i need a new lorley splendor yeah <sighs> law, law sectors are better but Dude. if you're like i could use a, a few I, there's like three or four that i'd be happy with nightfalls you know what we need on the on the ghost free idea bungie feel free to take it like you know how we have the mod on the ghost it's like oh if you get a piece of armor like it has more Discipline. recovery on it yeah, yeah, or something yeah. like yeah. that have that on the artifact or on the ghost shell or whatever and it's like the next time you get an exotic drop, it'll be more weighted to be a helmet, more weighted to be a gauntlet or something like that. Let us narrow down the wide exotic RNG just a little bit. Bungie, this one's on us. Free of charge. It's for free. Free bro. of charge, Bungie. Take it. Take okay? It. That's I'll on us. send you an invoice. That's a great idea. Pretty I don't sure. worry about uh, nerfs, buffs, etc., uh, if this or that is broken or not, I just enjoy the time I'm in, uh, I'm in playing and adjust to what works for me in any given activity. I think boo. that's a good take. Wholesome take. Wholesome, wholesome good take. Boo. How many? Yeah, exactly. Whole, yeah, exactly. We didn't ask for these good takes. We asked, um, how many times, follow can I ask, how many times have people gotten mad at you for posting good, powerful builds? And they say, you scumbag, Bungie's going to find out oh, and nerf this. all the time. Yeah. I, that is, to it's me... It's usually, how dare you promote this? Now Bungie's going to get my favorite loadout nerfed. Or people are like, how dare you promote this? Now it's going to be, it's going to explode in popularity and people are going to use it on me in PvP. It just all boils down and to it like, all, how it dare all you? It all boils down to... I'm already using it and I'm mad you're promoting it so I can't abuse it for longer. You know what I mean? It's like... It does happen a fair amount. Are you ready for the Salt Greppo take? I'm ready for the Greppo take. Okay. This, for everyone who don't know, they're like, who the heck is Salt Greppo? Single-handedly got uh, Divinity nerfed. Uh, Single-handedly is going to get well nerfed. Is the head of the Bungie anti-fun department. Let's see what's (laughs) going on here. Yeah. Well has been by far the best super in the game since Forsaken, and it's time for a change. Out of, you know, out of every take, he could have dropped. I know, this was like the least spicy of them. This is like, oh man, okay. I thought he was going to go in a really weird direction. Um, Yeah, I think a lot of people are probably going to be mad if Bungie does end up nerfing the Radiant Well, but like, come on, are we in disagreement? Every time... A day one raid happens. Like, are you going to go into a day one raid, Rick, without like two Radiant Wells on your team? I'm Probably not an not. idiot, so no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really, really good super. Can I tell you oh. a, a little bit of a more recent antidote? I was farming Hung Juries, mm-hmm. and our Warlock originally was a guy with uh, Controverse Hold. And it was very good. Like, it's Void Burn, right? Good. Yeah, exactly. Getting good mm-hmm. times. Yeah, another guy come in. He was just using Well. We're like, whatever. Bro. Sure. Our boss strategy changed from kiting the boss around the room and just doing damage to him. Our well guy literally ran up to the boss's <laughs> feet and where all the enemies spawned, put that well down, and we literally would just melt the boss or like melt just the first third of his health, him. standing in yeah. the well, enemies spawning all around us. We were in no danger. In Grandmaster. No it's like... Yeah. Literally before I hopped on to record this with you, I was just doing GMs with uh, Aotera and Rosie and just... As long as you got that radiant well, you just drop it, 
Doesn't we are going to get, people are going to hate us. For, we're going to be the front <laughs> page of Reddit for calling for a well nerf. Now, listen. I mean, I like, like I don't know. It's I those... think sometimes it's fun to change things up. You know what I mean? And if, if well gets nuked from orbit too hard, then okay, sure, change it back. But like, I don't know. I just think like for years, it's we've been... all been like standing in a well, dealing damage to a boss from inside the well. I would agree that yeah. maybe it's time for a change and mate you, don't I, throw rocks at me please yeah exactly it is fallout's idea i don't agree with that <laughs> in, in another in other news bubble shouldn't disappear when the person who cast it dies now that's an interesting take uh I, that would definitely make bubble a lot stronger it, too bad i like it, why does well <laughs> stay and bubble disappear that's a good point. You all lose right, here all... I'll, I'll make a deal. I'll make a deal. Hold on, you, you, deal you lose you. all of your armor when you leave the bubble. You are so vulnerable when you leave the bubble. You other than weapons are light. So it's like, why does the bubble? I feel like bubble should get that. Now that as as someone who just spent all morning playing Iron Banner Fortress, I'll make a deal with you. Have that for PVE. Don't put it in PvP. <laughs> is is that just, agreeable or no? No, just pop the bubble, stupid. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. You put out 17 videos on how to pop bubbles and you're complaining about them still? How will you just watch? Still like, annoying. Okay. All right. Next take. Okay. Sure. Patrolling any planets requires no power at all. A slight challenge in public events and stuff would be cool. Anything except raids and GMs is a joke and you can plow through anything like your Godzilla. Strikes are 1350 power. Where's the heroic strike playlist? I actually, I think this is a good to actually agree with this. Like a lot of games. Yeah. Uh, mainly like the division have world modifiers it's like you could basically put a contest mode a grandmaster mode for the entire world interesting i never and thought so about doing something like how that. sick would it be if there was planet exclusive loot and like you could change the uh, put like a legend planet mode you'd go in there'd be like more enemies there'd be champions spawning in public oh, events that's and then you get these like a, a better chance for these like planet exclusive weapons and stuff that'd be sick that's actually kind of a badass idea like legend planet mode like if you just go to like the edz on like legend yeah or something i kind of dig that idea that's that's a then, good idea then, then the glimmer extraction you're sweating you're like oh <laughs> god sweating, bro. where's the stupid I like machine i need to shoot like where is that thing and you try to oh my that's god good idea it's not that's a good idea you. yeah yeah all right next one Raids and higher difficulty activities should have matchmaking. Legend Heist Battlegrounds have proven... What? Have Wait, proven what? This would be a terrible <laughs> idea. That it would be a terrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> well, he, got, he had me in the first half, not gonna lie. Wait, I'm proving to you. But, has all, but, but also that it has the potential to be very funny. I, <laughs> this dude... <laughs> he just wants to watch the world burn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, 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 That's all he wants. Th that was a, that was a, a, I almost got whiplash from reading he this. Literally, like, he got me in the first half. Not gonna that lie. That is crazy. That's funny. Here we go. Last one here. Okay. We need to keep sunsetting DLCs. After about three years, content stops getting patched, and the game becomes too expensive, making it more labor intensive for the dev team. Put the weapons in dares and get it over with. Put the weapons in dares and get it over with. I is love this that last is, part. Uh, is this guy a... I found the Bungie dev alt account. The guy who created Sunsetting. I found his <laughs> alt account. He's trying to get revenge here. Wow. Cosmo in undercover. Oh. Mm -hmm. What a take. That's Man. interesting. I, I don't know how I feel about this one because I know that like after a while the game gets too big and bloated, Dude, but like I also don't I say, want to lose the content that I paid for. Yeah, you know? that's the they tried to make blue stop dropping and the entire game broke. <laughs> like like there is some merit to the sense that you can't just add infinitely. Like it will get too right, bloated, right? Right. And can't it will be forever. too hard to de to develop for. You could sunset DLCs, but they shouldn't be paid. If you're saying, "All right, any year from now, we're gonna sunset uh, Shadow Keep," it should be free for the entire year. Yeah, I'm. I yeah, I think there should be some kind of give and take there, right? Because you can still pay right. for Forsaken right now today. It's, really? Oh yeah. It's still paid. You get like all the exotics. You get the Dreaming City. Huh. 
But like half of it got sunset. The campaign. But like doesn't... half of it's gone. Yeah. What are you paying for? <laughs> just, just the dreaming. State. I, I don't know. Mr. Bungie I, I needs know. a new mansion. I guess. I don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That's a good question. Like, what are you paying? Like, I, I, I think you can make an argument that yeah, it's like listen. Again, I'm on Bungie's side with like, hey, we can't just have we, infinite bloat. We can't sure. have infinite. I, I agree. I agree. But again, you need to more tactfully and respectfully dispose of this content. It needs to be like years in advance. Like, hey guys, 2024, sure. this yep. and this and this are sunsetting, right? And then, yeah, but we're keeping the loot in a different way and they're exactly. moving into this activity. You're, you have two they're, they're years. Being lateral movement. You have two years to get the loot. You know, yeah. and we're going to make this expansion free on this day, you know, so everyone can get in there one last time, all that stuff I that, that I think if they did it like that, people would still complain. Obviously, <laughs> it's Twitter, <laughs> yeah, um, sure. Sure. but it would be so much better than what they did with Forsaken, which is like, oh, by the way, say goodbye to the campaign. <laughs> Don't worry, I, though, you can for, 20, I, I for $29.99, you can still get the weapons, though. <laughs> I swear it's still paid. I swear. I'm pretty sure we had some that hot takes. That was some good takes. That was some hot takes. That was some interesting takes. And uh, I had fun. Do you, had fun, do you have fun, Fallout? I had good. I had a good fun, buddy. It good was fun? good, clean fun across the board. Thanks for joining me on both. Uh, Thanks you know, the for PvP constantly takes and... swearing. So I'm gonna have to edit out all of those or get demonetized. Oh Thank yeah, so my bad. I should have been more like true Vanguard. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> golly gee, Rick, that was just a fudging uh, good time. No, it's okay. I don't fucking care. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know what? This is fun, and I think Fallout. And I think, mm. and if the people. If the people want to see more, I think they should support both this video and the video on your channel. And if they do well, if they pop off, if people like them, if people want to see them, I'd, I'd make more. We can make a series. I will gladly do more. Hot, I will gladly the do hottest more. dudes and the hottest takes. Because <laughs> now people have gone over hot takes for people might be saying, oh, hot takes, how original. Have you got the two hottest dudes to review the hottest takes? Not until now. Not Peace until now. Pull. Lock yeah. it up. Exactly. Click like on the video. Show a little support. <laughs> Thank right. you for watching. All right, see ya.